back, everyone. Thanks to everybody who watched the Amy Comey Barrett hearings with me earlier. That was a lot of fun. And uh, we'll be doing that all week uh, for the remainder of the hearing. So make sure to come back and check that out. Uh, you can also join us in Discord uh, to, you know, either discuss the hearings or mock them, whichever you prefer. So today I just wanted to quickly touch on a pattern that I've been seeing bubbling about in the media for the last few months. And that's to paint Trump and the Republicans as communists. This is obviously baffling for several reasons, not least of which is the fact that communism is a left-wing ideology. And I mean, the best places you can find Marxist and communists are in leftist dominated institutions, such as academia and the media. They don't even hide it. I mean, it's not even like it's unusual to see these people, you know, carrying hammer and sickle flags at any given Democrat rally or protest or just on a college campus. Yet we're seeing this load of horseshit being trotted out in the media. Meet from Utah Senator Mike Lee on Thursday, where he tweeted out, we're not a democracy, followed by democracy isn't the objective, liberty, peace and prosperity misspelled are. We want the human condition to flourish. Rank democracy can thwart that. What's going on? Look, that, I, I tweeted in response to that. That basically is, sums up the position of the Communist Party in the Soviet Union for 75 years. I really, what's happening now in the Republican Party, when you're in the middle of something, it's always difficult to sort of really understand it. But it is a complete moral collapse of a party, unlike anything we've seen, I think, in American history. Now, this is obviously completely insane gaslighting of epic proportions. But these people are clearly desperate at this point, and especially since they've seen this high Latino support for Trump. Specifically because these Latino voters, many of them, see Trump as a stopgap against socialism and communism, which seems to be rising in the Democrat Party. I mean, just look at the Democrat National Convention, where they straight up adopted a communist symbol with the words, our values, right under it. The Democrats are undeniably moving in that direction. So back to that first clip of Jonathan Capehart on MSNBC and his guests making this claim that Mike Lee, a Republican, was promoting communism when he tweeted this out. Quote, democracy isn't the objective. Liberty, peace, and prosperity are. We want the human condition to flourish. Ranked democracy can thwart that. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm not a complete idiot, but it's clear to me that Mike Lee was referring to the fact that this country is a republic, not a democracy, with a constitution that's whole purpose is to protect the minority. The idea being that straight democracy is basically just mob rule with a minority that has no voice. And he's talking about this because the Democrats want to stack the Supreme Court, they want to get rid of the Electoral College, they want to make new states, and they basically want to set up a situation where they just don't have any political opposition anymore. It's one party, Democrat, far left rule. David Harsany over at the National Review wrote this, and I think he nailed it. Quote, the left sees democracy as a cudgel to impose their cultural and ideological values on the minority. This is why we have separation of powers. This is why a Supreme Court exists. This is why we have deliberative bodies such as the Senate. This is why we have states. This is why progressives want to weaken all those institutions. And as we all know, the left is weakening and attacking all these institutions using the very methods that they constantly accuse their political opposition of using. Who is it popularizing and mainstreaming the idea that an election is only legitimate if a Democrat wins it? Who is it that's covering up and normalizing? Who's covering up and normalizing the domination of far left ideologies in our learning institutions? Who's destroyed our free press by making it a mouthpiece of the Democrat Party and its ideological foot soldiers? So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you all and vent a little bit. It drives me insane. I didn't have a ton of time for a video today because of streaming the SCOTUS hearings, and I will be doing that all week, so make sure to check back. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, share, and subscribe on your way out. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.